Law Warrior Online. SNK 1v Snake. Overview. Built around the same Series Plex 4 chassis as the Vindicator, the Snake is one of several new Innisfear Battlenecks introduced to counter the fearsome Clan Elemental. Or so goes the official story. In reality, the Snake was designed for maximum effectiveness against Innisfear battle armor. With Capellan research and development programs lagging behind the other successor states, Chancellor Sun Tzu Lao gave high priority to the development of an anti-battle armor mech. Reusing an existing chassis should have speeded up development, but the design team squandered their time bickering over the selection of weapons. Only after intervention by the Maskarovka did the surviving designers finally finalize their recommendations. Capabilities With only one weapon capable of delivering the kind of punch needed to take down a clan elemental, the snake appears far too lightly armed for its stated role. However, against lighter inner sphere battle suits such as the Sloth and Infiltrator employed by the Federated Commonwealth, the combination of a Mydron XL LB-10X autocannon and three Hovertech Streak SRM-2 launchers is extremely effective. Speed and mobility were carefully balanced against those features of the Snake's intended target. Likewise, designers deemed the seven tons of armor sufficient to protect against long-range battle armor attack. Sharing many components with the ubiquitous Vindicator, the Snake, unlike some newer designs, has access to plentiful spare parts, and technicians enjoy working on the mech. Unfortunately, the Snake is far from impressive when pitted against the latest Innisfear battle mech designs. Lacking energy weapons, its ammunition dependence, relatively light armor, and average speed require the mech to fall back on its lancemates for support when facing battle mech forces. In some respects, the Snake has become obsolete now that the Capellan battle armor program is finally producing workable designs. Worse, the next generation of battle armor promises an increase in firepower against which the Snake could find itself under-armored. Deployment When the Snake was introduced, the Confederation had little chance of facing the clans. Within a sphere battle armor still relatively rare, the Snake proved difficult to employ effectively. Many were relegated to anti-vehicle or infantry support roles, and some were even transferred to the Free Worlds League, where they served with the 30th Marek Militia on wing. Ceres entertained the hopes of exporting the design to the Draconis Combine, but talks with the DCMS collapsed after they opted for the homegrown Komodo instead. Following the formation of the Trinity Alliance, Ceres increased production. Many of the new snakes are now being shipped to the Torian Concordat and the Magistracy of Canopus troops fighting alongside Capellan units in St. Ives and the Chaos March. Variants In an attempt to find a new role for the design, Ceres has been experimenting with mounting stealth armor on the snake. The repositioning of the jump jets proved a complex modification and a streak SRM launcher had to be removed to make way for an ECM system. Known as the SNK-2B, this variant can maintain its maximum rate of fire while manoeuvring, a rare feat for a mech with stealth armor. Notable mech warriors. Sangwe Tyler Alban. A member of the Wild Ones, the 3rd MAC, Sangwe Alban acquired an unenviable reputation for inflicting heavy civilian casualties during the Satives conflict. With enemy battle armor formations few and far between, Alban and his snake were relegated to the rear area security duty. Denied any chance of frontline combat, he often loaded up with cluster ammunition and set off to suppress insurgent activity. Shortly after St. Ives' final surrender, Alban's gruesomely mutilated body was found in his quarters. Though Free Capella has never claimed responsibility for Alban's elimination, few doubt the organization was responsible. Commander Amanda Lackburn a graduate of the Lao Conservatory for Military Arts, Amanda Lackburn chose to serve with House Lao's Sixth Confederation Reserve Cavalry, where she fought alongside the Hustiang warriors during the bitter battles in St. Ives. With a wealth of experience garnered on Innisfear battlefields, Lackburn returned to her native Magistracy of Canopus, where she was assigned to the second Raven Thier Cuirassiers. Firmly committed to the Trinity Alliance, Lackburn's been working with her fellow warriors to integrate their tactics with those of their Capellan allies. Given the honour of piloting one of the Carassier's few advanced battle mechs for her efforts, many expect her to soon receive a battalion command. Ah yes, the snake. 
Watch it. He draws the pleasure from the snake. It's a 45-tonner on the Seri Splex 4 chassis with a Vox 225 XL power plant. Cruise speed of 54 kph, max speed of 86 with Anderson Propulsion 30 jump jets, giving it 150 meters jump range with the Star Shield armor with case. And as it says, it's a single LB10 with three streak twos. So actually, if it was in MechWare Online, it'd be a fucking banger of a mech, let's face it. God, that would be a nasty thing. Uh, a, a ballistics hard point on a medium with uh, uh, three missile slots. Jeez, that would be nasty. You know what? And again, Matt Plog did good work. The art, artwork for the new snake compared to the original, which you would have seen first, is a big up, uptick in uh, quality there. Uh, it's not a bad looking mech, to be honest, in the new one. It's got 22 uh, basic heat sinks, it's got doubles. Um, let's see, anything else of real interest here? Other than the fact that the ammo for all the weapons are kept in the side torsos, but they've got case, so it's not too bad. But then you've got an XL engine, so. <laughs> I mean, once the explosion goes off, there's not much left of that engine to to deal with. Yeah, it's okay. It's 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 one of those ones that it's got a bad writer, but I'm sure there's plenty of stories of it out on the tabletop where it's done amazing stuff, especially Street Twos. They aren't bad weapons because they don't generate that much heat, and well, I mean, once you fire them, they're they're always going to hit. You just roll the cluster table once you've uh, once you've rolled, you know. Not a bad, not a bad Mac, not a bad Mac. Don't mind the snake. Um, it's one of those ones that you're never going to see in a game, though. It's Unless it's like a mod project or something. They're never going to pick this thing up. But, uh, yeah, a medium that uh, moves, walks 5, runs 8, jumps 5. Yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Anyway, thanks for listening, everybody. Hope you have a good one. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.